SpaceX copy is on the seat rotation. And the seats are rotating into the proper landing position. We saw them a little bit more reclined earlier, facing the top of the capsule. And uh, now they are more forward facing towards that side hatch. We also got confirmation that the recovery teams can also now see Dragon coming back. Brace for droves. Copy, braced for droves. We are waiting for confirmation that the drogue chutes have deployed. We are expecting them to deploy uh, any minute now. And it looks like those might be our drogue chutes. Visual two chutes. SpaceX from resilience, we show good drogues. SpaceX copies and concurs nominal descent right on two drogues. Uh, continuing to hear good news after good news. Uh, two drogue shoots have deployed. Everything looks nominal and we're slowing the Dragon vehicle down. We are expecting the four main shoots to deploy uh, within the next minute. And those four drogue shoots. Oh, you can see them being pulled out now. Visual on four mains. And resilience copies, and we see a nominal descent rate. SpaceX copies and concern, concurs nominal descent rate. And this view coming from the WB-57, very clear image of those four main parachutes slowing the vehicle down to what will be about 16 miles per hour prior to splashdown just off the coast of Panama City, Florida. If it were daylight, we would have an image of those four beautiful parachutes being orange and white and still getting these incredible views even though we are in a nighttime splashdown. So we are waiting for uh, visuals of splashdown. The Dragon One program had great success with water landing with 20 successful splashdowns over the course of that program, nine of which were carried out by nope. flight proven Dragon spacecrafts. And space height you've broken, but we show you just under 800 meters, still good descent, right? just under 800 meters from the Earth. That's about half of a mile. And we are tracking splashdown. And 600 meters, and we're showing 10 meters per second on the descent rate, a little higher than nominal. SpaceX copies. And what a view we have here. Even though it's nighttime, uh, we have some great visuals uh, of Dragon there with his four main chutes deployed, uh, slowly coming back to Earth. Splashdown is scheduled for just a few minutes from now. Meters. Now just a quarter of a mile away from splashdown, and that splashdown time is scheduled for 11.57 p.m. Pacific time. And SpaceX, we show nominal descent rate, 200 meters, brace for splashdown. SpaceX copies, brace for splashdown. Seconds away from splashdown, everything nominal aboard Crew Dragon Resilience returning to Earth. 
and there are the boats starting to chase after Dragon um, to begin their recovery operations as soon as Dragon lands. You can hear the applause. But we have visual confirmation of the Crew-1 resilience capsule. From resilience. Uh, this excellent news. We are splashed down. We sh the pyros have fired. We're water. SpaceX copies and concurs. We do she main cut as well. So again, you heard the applause. Uh, the Crew-1 capsule has returned um, and we have successful splashdown. The main chutes have also cut as well. The fast boats are now making their way towards the capsule to begin the recovery operations. Again, that first boat is going to um, start to inspect the capsule and make sure that there isn't any residual uh, toxic fumes in the air. Dragon, on behalf of NASA and the SpaceX teams, we welcome you back to planet Earth and thanks for flying SpaceX. For those of you enrolled in our frequent flyer program, you have earned 68 million miles on this voyage. And SpaceX, resilience, it is back on planet Earth. And we'll take those miles. Are they transferable? <laughs> and Dragon will have to refer you to our marketing department for that policy. And we are in one, that's three decimal one of 4.800. And uh, resilience, please re uh, repeat last about 4.800. Okay, uh, we are in three, and we show stable one. SpaceX copies stable one, good news. A bit of levity from the crew and the core uh, about the transferable, transferable uh, mileage. And that splashdown coming at 11.56 p.m. Pacific time, 6.56 GMT. We're hearing reports that the capsule is in stable one position, meaning it is upright. Uh, as we heard, those four main parachutes were cut and those two fast boats will soon approach the vehicle. They will be able to, as we mentioned, sniff for those hypergol fuels, um, as well as attach buoys to the parachutes and make sure they are recovered. The teams have been ready and waiting about three nautical miles away, so it's going to take them around 20 minutes to make their way to Mike, Victor, Shannon, and Suichi inside Crew Dragon. And while the teams move in, we are uh, continuing to watch this scene unfold and this view coming from Go Navigator, the recovery vessel on which we will see Dragon hoisted later. That was uh, just so cool to see. We The teams had visual of Dragon with his chutes deployed, coming back down to Earth, and then you saw the fast boats sort of just as fast as they could, uh, you know, heading over to Dragon, uh, just to make sure that everything um, can uh, happen as quickly as possible and make sure that the astronauts are safe. And good news, the uh, recovery vehicle has a go to approach the spacecraft. Uh, Dragon SpaceX, we are go for recovery personnel to approach. Expect personnel alongside in about one minute. And SpaceX from Dragon, that is great news. And that comes right on time as well. Just five minutes after splashdown, those fast boats are going to be able to approach the capsule um, and put buoys on those parachutes. Uh, and the hypergol checks will continue. And eventually someone will help rig up the capsule to be picked up by the, uh, the go navigator once it has the go to approach the vehicle as well.
and all of this action coming after undocking from the International Space Station at 5.35 p.m. Pacific time today, just six and a half hours from them to board the uh, Crew Dragon or to depart on Crew Dragon and splash down back on Earth after almost six months in space. And here's a aerial shot of those fast boats approaching Dragon SpaceX comm check. And SpaceX from Resilience, we're still reading you loud and clear. Loud and clear as well. We just completed a minor comm configuration. Thanks. You bet. And we see some lights outside. Looks like some people are getting close. Affirmative. Uh, quite the welcome home party. So it looks like that first boat has already made it to the capsule. There are a number of other boats and recovery vessels um, standing by. And once we clear the area of, um, you know, from any hypergolic uh, vapors, um, they'll, you know, move on to the next phases of recovery. And some of those darker spaces you see there in the water are the parachutes that will be uh, collected later on. But this view, yes, from the WB-57 aircraft that provided us with those infrared images uh, as Dragon was still re-entering the Earth's atmosphere and then all the way through splashdown as well. So you can see that second boat approaching those uh, parachutes to attach some buoys. It really could not have been a more flawless journey home for Creed Dragon Resilience. Yeah, we, we continue to see, um, you know, nominal call after nominal call from the Dragon SpaceX. We show hypergol sweeps and unfired ordnance checks uh, nominal. Rigor should come aboard momentarily. Expect about two, five minutes until capsule lift. Stand by for PMC with SpaceX Flight Surgeon. Okay, resilience copies all, we're standing by. 